Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now we are in the process of converting this design into a blogger template. And this is our blogger template as of now. And if we go to this uh, list of blog posts, here we can see that we have this sidebar and we had created this in the previous video. Now in this video, we'll create the single post page. So if I go ahead and open one of these posts, so let's open this one right here. Now we can see that we don't have any content displayed over here because uh, we haven't added the code for the single post page. So let's do that in this video. Let's get started. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and let's go over here to theme and uh, let's go to edit HTML. And now if we go back to our website and here we can see that we have all the content displayed but if you go to any of these posts we don't have anything displayed over here that's because uh, if we scroll down and if you take a look at the if condition that we have so here for the blog widget here we can see that we had added this if condition where data v is home page is uh, not true and uh, data blog page type is equal to index now this data column blog dot page type equals index means that the page consists of a list of posts. So now in this code the blog widget will be displayed only when we are on a page where a list of items are displayed. So we need to change this if condition right here. So let's go ahead and remove this uh, if condition and let's add one more thing over here. Let's type not and let's see whether it is not the error page. So let's type data colon view dot is error. So if it's not the error page or if it is not the home page, then we need to display the blog content. Now if we just save this and if you go to our website and reload, now we can see that our content is displayed over here, but it is not in the correct design that we want, but uh, at least we have the content displayed. We also have the comment box displayed over here. And if you go back to the blog list, we have everything working as it is. Now what we need to do is we need to add an if condition for checking whether we are on the index page or we are on a single post page. So for that, let's go to the ID of post. So we can just search for ID equals post. And here we can see we have added some code. So this is the card and it is being displayed over here. So each of these are cards. So let's go over here and add an if condition and let's tap b colon if and let's set the condition as data colon view dot is single item and uh, here i just close the if condition and for now i just add an h2 and let's tap testing single page and uh, for all the other content let's add another if condition let's tap less than b colon if c o n d and uh, here let's tap data colon view dot is multiple items and let's close that after this card so let's close the if condition right here so now if you are on a page where multiple items are displayed then this code will be displayed and if you are on a single item page then this code will be displayed so let's save this and let's go back to our website and reload and here we can see that we don't have the testing text displayed but let's open one of these posts and now here we can see testing single page is displayed. So the if condition is working all right. Now let's add our design over here. So let's go to our source code. And here if you go to the single post dot HTML file, here we have the design for the single post. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's copy from the breadcrumbs. And let's copy it till here where we also have the recent post displayed. So let's copy all of this and let's paste it over here. And I think there is an extra ending div, so let's delete that. And let's see whether we have the correct ending divs. So let's fold these divisions. So we have breadcrumbs, then we have post heading, post meta. We also have the thumbnail. We don't need the thumbnail over here. It will be fetched from our post. And then we have the post body. And then we have the blog list and after the blog list we directly have the aside so i think we have some extra ending div tags over here all right so let's close this division right here let's close this one let's close this one and uh, here we have this 
div tag and i think we need to add one more ending div tag over here so let's type less than forward slash div and now let's save this and here we have some problems so that's because we have this ampersand symbol so let's quickly fix that so let's go to line number 1804 and let's change this to ampersand semicolon let's save this and everything is updated successfully let's go back and reload and now we can see that our design is being displayed now let's add our content from the blog post over here here first of all we have this uh, breadcrumbs let's do that later let's go over here to the heading and uh, let's add the heading over here let's type less than data colon post dot title and this is the heading let's save this and if we go back to our website and reload here we can see that the heading of our post is being displayed let's do the same for all the other content so here we have the admin which is the author so for that we can just type less than data colon post dot author and for the date we can just go ahead and type data colon post dot timestamp and let's save this let's see whether everything is being displayed correctly let's go back over here and reload and here we can see we have the author name and the date displayed over here then we have the label so let's go back and here inside the labels division let's add a b loop and in the loop we need to get the values of the label so let's have values equals and here let's type data colon post dot labels and for the variable let's type label and uh, let's delete this anchor tag from here and let's close the b loop right here and here in the anchor tag we need to change the href so let's change this into an expression and uh, here let's type data colon label dot url and here for the label name let's type data colon label dot name and then we have the post body so let's delete all of this from here and uh, here we can just type less than data colon post dot body and we have the blog list for the recent posts and we will do that later so now let's go ahead and save this let's go back to our website and reload and here we can see that all the content of our blog post are displayed over here and uh, we have the labels also displayed over here with the correct links now we have a problem in the CSS of this design so if you right click over here and go to inspect and if you take a look at this uh, cards container we can see that we have this gap of 30 pixels and we had added that for the list of blog posts but for this page we don't need to have this gap but in our HTML design we had a different structure so here we didn't have the cards container now in our blogger website we had to change the structure of our website so what we will do is when we are on a single post page we just add a class to the body and we will target that specific cards container and we'll just remove the gap so let me show you how to do that let's go back over here and let's go to the start of the body tag i'll just search for it and here let's add less than b colon class and here we can add class to the parent element based on a condition so this will add a class to the body so let's type condition and uh, let's set the condition to data colon view dot is single item and then for the name we can add the name of the class so let's set the name to single item right now let's go to the css of the cards container so we can just go ahead and search for cards container over here and uh, here let's type single item because we had added this class single item to the body when we are on a single item page and here let's type dot blog list cards container and here let's set the gap to zero and let's save this let's go back to our website and reload and now we can see we don't have the gap and if we go to the list of posts here we have the gap added so if we go to our inspect element let's go to the cards container and here we can see we have the gap and if you open one of these posts here we don't have the gap so it is working all right now let's add the content for this uh, 
breadcrumbs so for that let's go back and uh, let's go to our id of post and here we have the breadcrumbs inside the single item and the first thing we need to do is we need to add the link of the home page so here let's change this into an expression and let's type data colon blog dot homepage url and let's save this let's see whether we have the correct url let's uh, reload this page and here we have the home link let's click on that and we are taken to the home page so it is working all right let's fix the labels now for that we need to add the loop and uh, we had done that over here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here so here i'll just add an if condition so let's type less than b colon if and in the condition i'll just check whether we have any labels so let's type data colon post dot labels and if we have the labels then this code will be executed and let's add an else over here so let's type b colon else and if you don't have the labels then i'll just type uncategorized and we need to remove this class of label from here because we don't need to have that styling so let's save this and uh, let's reload this page and now we can see that both the labels are displayed over here and we need to add a comma between these labels so for that let's go back over here and uh, let's add a container division so here let's add a span because we want it to be in line so let's tap span and let's give it a class of b labels and let's close the span right here and uh, now let's add some css to this so we need to add some css to the b labels so i'll just search for breadcrumbs css and here let's type breadcrumbs and we have this class of b labels and in that we have the anchor tag so let's tap a colon not colon first child colon colon before and what we are doing over here is that if it is not the first child so if it is not the first label then we are adding a comma so let's type content and let's add a comma over here and let's save this let's go back to our website and reload and now we can see we have this comma after the first label and the links are also working all right right now let's add the title of the post over here so for that let's go to our id of post and here let's change this to data colon post dot title and let's save this let's go back to our website and reload and now we can see we have the correct title over here and all the content is displayed correctly let's go back to our desktop posts and uh, let's open this post right here and we have the correct labels and the post title and all the things displayed over here let's go back and let's open one with no labels so here we don't have any labels so let's open this and now we can see it says uncategorized so everything is working all right so with that we have added our post data to our single post page now in the next video i'll show you how to display the recent posts over here and we'll also add the recent comments over here so we'll do that in the next video so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day